Hello and welcome back to Macro Tutoring. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain why different areas have different climates. You should be able to explain what is meant by the ITCZ, and you should be able to describe the role of ocean currents in global heat distribution. So, if you can remember back to the last video, we learned about atmospheric cells, and atmospheric cells move air from one location to another in a circular motion. High pressure belts have dry climates, and another word for dry is arid. This is because little to no air is rising and cooling, so no precipitation or rain occurs. The dryness of an area means different biomes, which is another word for large ecosystems, form there. You may not be surprised to find that the Sahara Desert is located on a high pressure belt. The climate here is arid. Atmospheric cells move air from one location to another in circular motion. And at low pressure belts, the climate is wetter. This is because the warm, wet air cools and falls as rain, sleet or snow. Looking back at the map of Africa here, you can see that the wetness of an area means different biomes form again. You may not be surprised to find that the green areas are located on a low pressure belt. The climate here is wet. Now, the next part is the ITCZ. Now, you just need to know a little bit about this, what it stands for and what it actually is. So the ITCZ stands for the Intertropical Convergence Zone, and it is the name given to the central low pressure belt where winds converge as two Hadley cells force air upwards. Now, when you've got this two Hadley cells forcing air upwards because of the heat, you get precipitation and you get a lot of rain and this causes a wet band to form, and that is actually around the equator, around the ITCZ. And finally, ocean currents. So ocean currents are the large-scale movement of water throughout the world's oceans. The Gulf Stream is an example of an ocean current, and ocean currents maintain climates, particularly near the coast. Places the same distance from the equator can have very different temperatures, depending on how near they are to the coast. And we call this continentality, which is a measure of how close you are to the sea because of how large the landmass is. Now, at the end of that, you should be able to explain why different areas have different climates. You should be able to explain what is meant by the ITCZ, and you should be able to describe the role of ocean currents in global heat distribution.